We're in Windows 10. I'm going to show you how to get to the Event Viewer to troubleshoot problems with your computer. Just go down to the Start button, right click on there, and click on Event Viewer. And sometimes it takes a few seconds to load up depending on how fast your computer is. Uh, there's a lot of different things in here, but there's really only a few things that really matter. So we've got custom views, we've got Windows logs, applications and service logs. Uh, those generally are, are application service logs, generally are ones we don't really care about that much um, unless you're an advanced user. But uh, for the most part, there's two things you really want to look at. One is the system, which is the operating system, and the other is the application. That's if any applications are causing uh, any kinds of crashes or any other kind of problem. So let's start with the system. So uh, what we want to do is to expand that just by dragging that window down a little bit and go ahead and take a look at the warnings and the errors and uh, any, anything with a red or a yellow basically is what you want to look at. So um, take a look at that and then so if you know you're having a specific problem with uh, your operating system you getting an error or something like that when you start the computer or get, go to close it down or it just freezes up on you then you can go to this area and then anything that's a warning or an error just go ahead and copy that particular uh, error along with the event ID and then you can go into your browser and do a search for what's going on. So let's not do a warning just because warnings aren't usually that that bad. Uh, let's go to maybe one of these red ones. All right, so we're getting this DCOM error while trying to start a service. So let's go ahead and you can't right click and copy. You just have to do the control C, which you can't really see on the video, but trust me, just do a control C, it'll copy it. And then you can hit control V to paste it in. All right, so now we see all different kinds of people uh, online uh, as well as companies that will help us to troubleshoot uh, what this error is and how to fix it. And also some uh, results that other people had as well. So we can do the same thing up at application, and we can see yeah, most everything is white, just informational. But when we get into some of these reds, we've got the same kind of problem. There's an access denied. So again, select it all, choose Control C, open up your web browser, paste it in, and you'll see all kinds of people with the same problem you have. In this case, we've got over 5,000 different uh, hits on that. Typically, the one that's the most popular answer will be on top, and if it's a Microsoft problem, it'll be from Microsoft.com. And make sure you've got a good antivirus, anti-malware software, just in case you get an infected site instead. So this uh, gives you all different kinds of uh, things you can do in order to fix that problem. Commands you can run, download files you can do. So, uh, and whether or not even the error is, is all that important. Sometimes you see a lot of errors, but they're they actually not that big a deal and you can just let them go. Uh, you can sort by the level of the problem. So that way you see all the uh, errors on top or the warnings on top or information, you know, if you do, if you want the informational ones. Uh, you can also sort by date, uh, by source. This can be helpful. If you know there's a specific application giving you problems, you click on source and you just search for that application in there. Uh, you can also right click on there and go to properties and you can make changes such as how big the log file is going to be, whether or not to overwrite older events, which is what I think is a good idea. Uh, I don't like the do not overwrite events at all because you could fill up your hard drive and crash it. And if you are done looking at the log, you can just click clear log. It gives you the option to save the log first. So we'll go ahead and save it and we'll just call it uh, app log. And usually you give it the date and we'll save it right to the desktop. Click save. Click apply. Okay, now we see the application log is empty. And let's get back into our screen. There we go. So now we're going to go to the desktop and we see the app log. So let's double click on the app log. And you can see it now shows up under saved logs. And from here we can see historical data on various different errors and warnings. And information and but we keep our application log clear so it can create new events as things go along 
To see new events, you generally hit F5. It refreshes. Uh, sometimes the events don't show up right away unless you do that, or you close it and open the application again. So that's using the Event Viewer to troubleshoot your Windows 10 computer.